What's up, everybody? My name is Erin, and welcome to the Mad Maker Studio, and welcome back to the Dark Side Detective, A Fumble in the Dark. We are on case number three, Druid's Delight. Case summary. On Nanny Dooley's request, Patrick and I are going to the clan's ancestral home in Ireland. Oh boy, oh boy, are we ready to see what accent I bust out? It won't be Irish. Start investigation. All right, we gotta be careful, guys, because you remember what happened last time Dooley and I went on vacay together. Well, Dooley, in 307 hours, our flight will have landed in Ireland. Are you excited? Sort of. I'm kind of nervous to meet my Irish cousins. What if they're not as smart or well-informed as I am and we can't hold conversations? Okay, buddy. <laughs> Let's just go in with an open mind, yeah? Do we not get on a plane? Do we take a boat? Um, How did we end up on a boat? We were in an airport in the last screen. The castle is on... Oh, no. Laudule? Laudule? Remember? Lake Dooley? We, transi we transitioned off screen. Smart. 307 hours would have been one hell of a load time. All right, I'm I'm gonna do my best with maybe accents instead of ranges of my voice that will wreck my throat, but no promises that any of it's gonna be consistent. I won't bring you any closer to that accursed castle. Well, it's inland, so you can't really bring us any closer. I can't and I won't. We're on our own, Dooley. Let's get to the castle. Oh, but who's his friend? Look, Detective, a seal. How are you getting on there, little bud? I saw uh, sea lions at the zoo this weekend, and they were super cute. I can't stand the rain. I hear you. It never rains back home. Dooley, it rains about 40% of the time back home. Detective? I'm waxing lyrical for the old country. You leave me and my rose-tinted glasses alone. It's so clear you can even see the fish shivering from the cold. Why are you calling it an accursed castle? Good question. Before, before we leave the screen, let's get some more information. Because perfectly nice castle is not so good for tourism. People want their castles cursed, so that's a fact. I'm still vibing on off the old people voices that I did in the last case. Oh, mine? A grand day for drying some clothes, that. Is that a sweat lodge? A sweat lodge? In this economy? I mean, in this weather? <laughs> I talked to a seal again. Oh, wait, no. I just want to keep talking to the animal friend. Can we enter the boat? Oh, oh, I thought it looked like a wrench or something we could pick up. The boat name. Ah, eh. It was meant to be a placeholder name, but I never got around to changing it. Well, it's a fine boat. Hi. I even got her running on biodiesel. Oh, how very thoughtful of you. Huh? I just did it to stop the seal glaring at me from the slick filled water. <laughs> so menacing. They got beef. Oh, we got American dollars. <laughs> a collection of the finest American dollars. The exact amount needed for a holiday and not an American penny more. <laughs> Not the face! 
Julie, did you bring your gun with you? Were you allowed to do that? I've never actually been on an airplane before. I don't know what the rules for law enforcement are. I wasn't allowed, but I felt naked with an empty holster, so I took my speed gun. Anyone gets high around me and I'll know about it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I hope we get to use that. Can I look at the boat? I wondered what had happened if I put... Don't you dare. Nice picture frame you have there. Shame if somebody was to put a picture in it. Oh, okay. <laughs> I wish the captain let us travel in here and not out on the wet deck. All right, well, what my, I, let me let me make sure I clicked on everything that I possibly can in here, because if I don't, I might regret it later. Postcards from Derry, Dingle, Dundalk, and more. One from every port in Ireland. Wow, this guy has seen it all. Inland McTaverns. Where nobody can remember your name. Oh, look, the cabin has still a kitten sleeping in it. Do you think, is it their boat? It's the only logical conclusion. Can you call us a taxi, please? Nope, we don't have phones in the pub. Pubs aren't a place for take- <laughs> Shit, we're in Ireland! Ah! <laughs> I can't do voices very well. I'm not a professional. Okay, let me try this again. I'm, I'm not gonna force myself to try and do any kind of accent. I'm just gonna stick with what comes naturally, I guess. Nope. We don't have phones in the pub. Pubs aren't a place for talking to people who aren't in the pub. Only mildly greasy sandwich, fierce greasy chips, and blindingly greasy fry. Still not the worst menu I've seen. <laughs> oh, I love it. Are we going to keep getting little flashbacks of him in the dark side? Let's see now. I want a muggin, a very real and literal haunting, or a flaming kick to the nads. So many delightful options. Well, at least you weren't like literally starving for the for the full year. You had a place to go. <laughs> if it helps any, my foot is already aflame. Ugh. The woman on date. Let's talk to the man on the date first. <laughs> Can't talk. Mouthful of scalding hot chips. Chips. They call fries chips, and chips are called crisps. I don't know what they call crisps. Well, wait, I don't know what we call crisps. Do we call... Chips are in my top 15 favorite ways to cook potatoes. What do you want? I'm just passing by. I thought we'd say hello. Passing by, is it? Too good to stay, are you typical tourists? Say they love the place, but when it comes down to it, they still pack their bags and go home. Well, we have lives, work, and family. Are you saying we don't? Have lives, work, and family here? Do you think I was chiseled out of a block of marble? I... No, I wasn't. I was born. I have a family. I live here. I even have a job. You're not any better than me. Jeez, detective. You're really such a tourist. Um... Oh, <laughs> one empty picture frame. When you hold it up, it shows my favorite picture. Everything. Beautiful. What's all this? I've already immediately forgotten the voice I gave him. <clears throat> oh, I like to frame foreign money. It's all so mad looking. Where do you get it all? Ah, I buy it. 
Even though U.S. money. Yeah, I'm pretty sure they don't have money. As I hear it, the streets over there are paved with gold. Okay, let's frame this money. Sure thing, detective. I put weed in its locker, sticking its fingerprints at a crime scene. Oh my god, Dooley. Dooley! Now I know how you got this job. You have no conscience. Dooley! That's all our money. You said it was the perfect amount of American dollars for a holiday, and we're gonna just give it all away? So, I am American. Sounds right. You can always spot an American by them telling you, unasked, that they are American. Right, well, we have money, you see. But the streets, the golden pavements! That was a uh, pre gold rush. And now we have overcrowding, streets with no pavements, and paper money. Not really paper, by the way, it's a type of fabric. I'm sorry for your loss. And I'm sorry for this voice I gave you, sir. It ain't much of one. And I framed some for you. Some framed American money to sell. All right, well, to quote the great philosopher Bixby Snyder, I'd buy that for a dollar, but an Irish dollar a punt. We shall not regret giving away all of our holiday money. No, not a single bit. See, Dooley and I are on the same page. One Irish punt. Irish money. Every coin is made of gold and is the size of a dinner plate. They all have stages gnawed into them, or stags gnawed into them. Excuse me. I can read. Look, that's where we're going. You're off to Castle Dooley. I hear it's cursed. Haunted, I hear. Heard. Oh, you do. It's got a mad cult in it, I'm telling you. You're all wrong. It's infested with the good folk, playing pranks on everyone who visits. Are we in a Scooby-Doo episode? <laughs> I don't love the sound of any of that. You say you don't love it, what I hear is you don't hate any of it either. Well, I do like a good bit of strangeness. It keeps me employed. And also you by extension. Doc's screen one. <laughs> Pretty clear. Look at his dead eyes. Seagulls are the sociopaths of the bird world. The castle's too far to walk. I guess we need a cab or something. Let me check my American to Irish dictionary. I think they're called move boxes here. There was a joke in there, I did not get it. Ugh, stop that. Never. Hey, detective, remember all that doc talk about my not wearing jackets? Well, I take it all back. I regret everything. Yeah, we're, we're gonna get hypothermia. Can we talk to him again? Oh, nope. Um... It's just a gray haze. I'm not sure walking is a great idea. Oh, no. Okay, we're back in the boat. No, oh, okay. I don't know why I thought maybe we could, like, get on a walkie-talkie somewhere. Oh, we can enter. Could we do that before? I didn't try. It's so dark in here. Harbor master. Ah, there you are. That's true, I am here. Bring this back to land. Not what I ordered at all. Good last, off you hop. Oh, bye. Spirits? A bottle of ghosts, I presume. What are we gonna do with that? It would explain why the harbor master sent it back. She's got a phone. And Zolf, that's official Arbor Master business. Are we in Australia now? I don't know. Why Harbor Master, not Harbor Mistress? Oh my God, Dooley. 
Don't be an ass. Well, because all the mistress sounds like I'm going to tie your boat with a rope instead of bureaucracy. Keep your tingling digits to yourself. This phone is only for official Arbor business only. Hands off, that's official Arbor business. Master business. Oh, sorry. What a view! Aye, you think a rainy grey landscape would lose its shine after a while, but you'd be wrong. That's the spirit, or rather, it's not. Ha 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 ha! Christ, I'm funny. Um, what do we do with the bottle of ghosts? <laughs> Take it back to the pub. The uh, harbor master wanted me to give you this. She said she ordered something less harsh. All oh, right. I guess she wouldn't want us to be drinking on the job. Here, give her this instead. You want this bottle back? Yeah, I have no want for that. You hold on to it. We're gonna be the Scooby Doo villain. <laughs> A pint. A pint of the black stuff. What does that mean? Is it a pint of the inky void between the stars? Or is it wintry morning contained in a glass? Or maybe it's the chill of a cold wind atop a cloud shrouded mountain. Oh my god, poet. Dooley, you're such a poet. <laughs> a poet, you're such a dooley. I gather it is all of those things and more. Is this what you wanted? Oh, sweet savior, Christ divine. That'd take the edge off a bad day. I've always said you and I had each other's backs. Could ask anything of each other if we could. Can I use the phone now? I'd love to help you, I really would. No, and no word of a lie. We're best friends after all. Friends who can ask anything of each other, right? I'm not sure I like where this is going. It's just the generator out back is broken. And the person who'd fix that, well, I'd I'd let them call whoever they wanted. Fine. I've always said you wanted the good ones. You post-delivery girl. Haven't I always said that? It's true, she has always said that. <laughs> I can't see much through here while the power is off. I guess the phone line was our indication that there would be a phone in this uh, structure generator. There's a broken generator. I guess it needs some kind of fuel. Where am I going to find that out here? Can we take it from the boat or just put straight up alcohol in it? I can't just put spirits in here. It needs proper fuel. Oh my god, McQueen, where's your sense of adventure? Okay. Any new dialogue options open up? No. Maybe we go talk to the, uh, the boatman again. Do you have any gas I could have? Gas? What? According to my dictionary, they call it petrol. Or diesel if they're cheap. I have diesel. I made it myself in the bowels of the ship. Can I have some? I'm out. Need more fatty oils and pure alcohol to make some. Find me that stuff and I'll sort you out. Oh, we need it. We need the french fries. There's the chips. No, they're all gone. Can I take your grease paper? Knock yourself out, mate. Need me to knock you out, detective? Please, no. Okay, a foul smelling concoction made of oils and liquor. And a bottle cap, a steel bottle cap. We only need a few more, we can buy our own, very own Brahmin. Oh, wait, no, I needed to give it to him. A uh, duh. Would this do? 
sure. Fate to black there while I do my mischief. Here's your biodiesel. Enjoy. I should have the power back on for Fiona. Hopefully now she'll let us use her phone line and call a cab. Taxi detective. Looks like the lights are back on in there. Ah, you did it. You fixed the Jenny. I have light need again. I feel like the Queen of Tara. You can use the phone to call your harlots now. I'm not calling harlots. I need a taxi. Don't worry, I won't tell your wife there. Tell me what? <laughs> see the character, see it too. <laughs> Are we gonna call Bussy Bell? Let her know how we're doing? The phone is fixed. Time to call for a taxi. KOPG, what's your problem? I need a taxi. Why did you call Sally? In Ireland. And only know this one number. Oh, detective, I knew this would happen. There should be one outside the cavern for you in a few moments. Wait, so I didn't have to do all that stuff? Oh, man. I know everything, detective. I handle all your PCO. Wow, Sally's voice is a trip. <laughs> I've not done it in a while. Uh, can we have a lift to the castle, please? Not for free, you can't just scrub. Will you take us to the castle for this? Aha, that's the stool that Daisy sat on. In you hop. One of my dreams or my goals is to be in a in a good setting where I can invite friends over or have something set up for them to play these games with me and also help me voice these uh, enormous amount of characters. There you go, lads. Welcome to the countryside. Thanks. There it is, Dooley. Castle Dooley. It's exactly as I remember it. It hasn't changed a bit. Dooley, you've never been here before. You didn't even know it was real until last week. The memories are flooding back. <laughs> it's impressive, isn't it? Oh, yes. A teeny bit dreary, though. Could do with a lick of paint or a second castle on top. Something that differentiates it from all the other castles around. Thor must be angry today. Isn't Thor Norse? Oh, you think he only makes it rain north of the border? <laughs> oh, Dooley, your gem. Absolute treasure. Great, the rain stops as soon as we finished walking in it. Rain will do that to you. Is this guy waiting for us? Greetings, sirs. I will take your bag so you may proceed to the ceremony. Because you're late. Sorry. Home is a long distance and many puzzles away. Sir, I am a butler, not a judge. There's no judgment here, only butlerment. <laughs> <laughs> Why is there a giant stone badger at the front door? Oh, the badger is the family mascot, sir. D for domicile, most likely. My god, Dooley. I'm afraid the interior is locked. <clears throat> I'm afraid the interior is locked at your post ceremony, to which you are late, as mentioned. Well, that tickles. <laughs> now that the rain has cleared up, 
We look like a right pair of dry sprites. Would sirs like anything? Oh, please, I'd love anything. Well, that's unfortunate. I've been ordered not to help in any way until the ceremony is completed. Why? Why did you offer? Politeness, sir. Don't- it doesn't hurt to be polite. It hurt me. Steel bottle cap. What can we do with the bottle cap? Okay. To garden, I just had to... Move up a little to the left of the screen. Coal bunker. Oh, this is where people hid away from nuclear bombs during, during the Cold War. Before our time, thank goodness. It's locked. What kind of exhibitionist lives in a glass house? It's not for people. It's a house for plants. Plants? There you go now. I thought plants were sweet, innocent things. Turns out they're little perverts. That explains why we never wear pants. Why they never wear pants. Sometimes when I'm trying to like deliver in a voice, I don't pay attention to the words on the screen and that's on me. I'm learning apples. <laughs> Some of those apples look loose. Can we take them? Can we frisbee them down? <laughs> no, I'd make a pig's ear out of that. All right, to Grove. A druid. Ray Dooley, druidly chap. Hurry up, lads. The ceremony can't start until you click through. But I want to put the dog. Oh, leave him be, lads. He's not the one for doing those things. <laughs> A jacuzzi. Well, actually... Look at this. Before refrigerators existed, people used to store ice in hills like this. Uh, untrue? They couldn't have made ice without refrigerators. They'd get ice... They'd get the ice from lakes during the winter. So wait, you're trying to tell me that lakes had refrigerators? That's crazy. Crazy enough to be true? Okay, I believe you. That's not what I was saying at all. Look, detective, I understand you don't want to be outed as an informant. When I post the blog, when I post the blog about this on Duluminati.com, I'll give you a cool nickname like the Whistleblower. Please no. The base of this well is pretty loose. I think I can slide one out. I click on this thing. Oh yeah. Okay, I just, I wanted, all right, let's click through. Amir Dooley, Arch Druid. There you are. No, it's fine. Don't rush yourself. You're already 20 years late to your coming of age ceremony. What's a few minutes more? This is a coming of age thing? I don't know what that means. Does it come with gifts? Here, put this robe on. It might... Be a little tight, but it should still fit. It does come with gifts. Yay! How do I look? Loving the legs. You look... Excuse me, is there time left to let it out a little? No, we're about to begin. Then you look great, buddy. Phew! Family and friends, we once more gather to acknowledge the turning of the Great Wheel. That time of year when young Dooley children become young Dooley adults and carry on the family duty. Let us start by answering the ancient questions you've studied for. We've done what now? There's a test? Kevin, who are the Dooleys? We're a family of protectors who look out for other humankind's good. A family of cops? I'm from a line of narcs. Oh my god, Dooley. <laughs> Ruby, what is our eternal purpose? We keep the sun high in the sky coming 
up every day to bless the soil and going down every night so that others on the planet can feel its warmth too. And Patrick, how do we do that? By believing in ourselves? What? No, we do it by... Wait, is it getting dark? What the? The sun has gone out, our sacred duty failed, and on such a prestigious day. How have I failed the family such? What to do in this both literal and figurative dark moment for the family? Uh, detective? I think we gotta do something. I mean, I wasn't paying attention entirely, but I think duelies are meant to stop this kind of thing from happening. And I'm a dually, and you're a dually by common law. And this is kind of weird, I think. The kind of weird that you maybe you'd be interested in looking into. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I'm not scared. And I don't ask for much. Just food and lifts and excuses not to work and visits to my family. And I guess I'm asking, will you help me investigate this? Dooley, you had me at detective. Let's go. All right. Wait, where are we going? What is it you're looking for? Uh, what's going on? Why is it dark out here all of a sudden? I don't know. Something is wrong here. Very wrong. Perhaps something has happened to the sunstone. What is the sunstone? Oh, now that's the story. But you're in a rush, so I'll give you the condensed version. The sun goddess Ayn. Well, she has turned into a crane. Of course. Here, this is Irish mythology we're talking. People are always getting turned into birds. Less of your cheek. Anyway, when she became a crane, she laid the stone that controls the sun and gave it to a Dulia Hoon. Dulia what now? It means first Dooley, which the story says Ein carved from a potato. Anyway, she gave the sunstone over to the protected forevermore, and it was until today. We'll get it back. Blood Wolf's dishonor. Dishonor is not a very reassuring term. Blood wolves are like hypnotists. If you're at the point in life where you're turning to one for help, then you can't afford to be picky. Uh, I need to borrow your stick, I think. The ancient Dooley Shilala. The Shilalag? Shilalag! Shilale! Anyway, what do you want this for? I think your stick, your Shilali, might be able to get us out of here. Out of outside? How does that work then? I er, I mean out of this situation, <laughs> the blackness. Oh right, okay. Hey, so here you go. The stick slash club is called a Shilali. I bet they're glad we came along and made easier, less lyrical names for things like stick and club. You okay, kid? Uh, I'm not a kid anymore. I did my ceremony. No way. The ceremony was interrupted. I'm gonna be a kid forever. You really have a way with kids. Always bowls me over to see how you interacting with them. You're, you're being sincere, aren't you? Always. Kid, what's that you're drinking? Uh, that depends. You're a cop. Not in this country. Well then, it's Poitin. Can I have some? You're gonna give it back? I'm gonna give you a soft yes on that. I don't know what that means, but I heard yes, and I'm a bit buzzed, so here. A spirit made from potatoes. Potato ghosts? Spooky. These boulders are limestone. I wonder if... Yes, there's a piece of flint sticking out of this rock. Can we make fire? Don't be acting the maggot with that carry-on. <laughs> oh no, whoops. Goodbye. 
I don't think we should go anywhere without a light source. See, that's the kind of thing, the kind of thinking that had me to bring you on this adventure. Okay. Gotta make fire. I need a rag to burn. Dooley, I need some of your rope. You have so much of it. I don't know how much I can spare. Here's a small piece. All right, we're gonna make a torch. Okay, I wrap this here and pour this on. Ugh, what a waste. And we have a torch. Torch unlit. Um. Oh, duh, steel and flint, I'm an idiot. We'll make a blood of you yet, detective. Let's light the son of a birch. About your stick. <laughs> it's not, it's no stick, boy. It's an ancient and all important shillelagh held by the family leader from days of yore. It passed down a sign of wisdom, duty, and right only to those who have proven themselves many times over. Well, why? Legends tell that the shillelagh can be traced back to the landing of the old gods on the shores of mystical wee Ireland. I... Indeed, some say it's a splinter from the mighty Dagda's Lord Moore. <laughs> I apologize for my pronunciation of, well, everything. The Dagda is a powerful god, and the Lord Moore and his magical war club for you American boys. Anyway, what of it? Oh gosh, I, uh, I'm really sorry, but I set it on fire. Ah, don't worry, I've loads of spares. Spares? What, you think you're the first one to set an ancient and powerful stick on fire? Now, away and solve this mystery. I don't have spare sunstones. Might though I wish I did. Alright, bye. Dan. Okay. Alright, are we are we ready to venture into the grove? Um Ah, uh, be careful with that knife. What are you at anyway? Stabbing the darkness to chase it off. <laughs> okay, I thought he was about to come at us. Right, can I uh, have your knife so I can do that too? I mean, I guess there's no iron knife. I had to step away for a moment and completely forgot all the extra voices I did. Wait a minute. That's exactly how a knife is spelt. <laughs> Baba. What is it, boy? Has the devil come for us? Arf! Can we break into this house? Now, now, detective. People live. People in glass houses don't let friends do drugs. What? Would sirs like anything? The sun has gone out. Oh, that it has. How unfortunate. This could be a long night and I have packed no snacks for the weans. Has anyone else entered the house? Not that I'm aware of. The arch druid is keeping the house on lockdown until further notice. Then how are we going to explore? I just noticed Tilly's robe looks like it got shorter. <laughs> Goodbye, sirs. Alright, I'm going to go ahead and leave this episode of the Dark Side Detective here. We're going to finish case number three, Druid's Delight, next time. Thank you so much for joining me. Please leave a like, comment, and subscribe if you haven't already. And as always, I hope to see you next time. Bye!